Denver's Five Points neighborhood has survived hard times before, and it will survive COVID as well. We even have a couple of new draws for the non-regulars. Here's Jason Grinauer. We are in a, a one of Denver's only cultural historic districts um, that's very rich in black or African-American history. Along Welton Street, you can almost feel the history. But that, by itself, doesn't always bring people in or get them to stay. There's a cry, we want more black-owned businesses. We want to make sure that the neighborhood um, pays tribute to who was here before. Brian Cobbins is one of those business owners trying to answer that call. It's the new with the respect of the history that has existed um, for decades. Commons is part of a local investment group hoping to breathe new life into this corridor, investing in existing businesses, Coffee at the Point and Spangalang Brewery, redoing Dunbar Kitchen into a new dinner spot, and opening mimosas. This is will be one of the first full service breakfast houses on the Walton Street Corridor. Chef Daniel Young is managing the culinary side. You got breakfast, you got dinner, you got coffee, you got a brewery. Um, and so collectively together that we hope that, you know, on the weekends that this place would thrive with all the properties rocking. The idea is we want people to stay here. And not only do we want people that live here to stay here, but if you live downtown, we want you to be able to take this light rail right up to Five Points. The new restaurants are slated to open later this month, and though they couldn't be specific, more is planned. This is just our, our foothold now, and hope we want to grow from that. In five points. More to come, absolutely. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. And we will be telling more stories like this one next week during our 360 conversation on race. It airs at 7 o'clock, and we hope you will join us.